Hello students, today we are going to talk about how to make a twinned animation in Flash. And in fact, in our past few less lessons, we are just doing a frame by frame animation, which is quite time consuming. In fact, we have a faster way, a more effective way to create an animation in Flash, which is we can do it by a motion twin. And in a twinned animation, we just make two frames. We create the starting frame or the beginning frame. We create the starting frame and then we create the ending frame. And fresh, we create all the frames between the starting frame and the ending frame, and which is called the twin frames in between. Therefore, we have the twin, sorry, twin frames in between. And this will save us a lot of time because uh, Fresh will create all those twin frames. Twin means in between. Yeah? And we just, all we have to do is to create a start frame and the end frame. Okay, we can now start to create a twin animation. And uh, in fact, it is quite easy. Let's say we start with a text here. And we, we have a certain text box here, twin animation. We simply right click and then we have two options of uh, the twin animation. The first one is motion twin, and shape twin will be discussed in the next lesson. And level, let's create motion twin. And you can see that there is a line of blue box uh, in the timeline in layer one. Uh, the frames become blue in color. And now you can move, uh, move the text, let's say towards the bottom of the stage and you can see that there is a frame yeah, keyframe at frame 24 uh, so this is the ending frame and now if you drag the play head you can see that the text actually move from the top towards the bottom of the stage and if you press enter to play the movie the text will move in a very smooth manner towards the bottom and uh, actually you may wonder what does all these small dots represent? And in fact, if you direct the play hand, the text move one dot at a time. And in fact, one small dot represent one frame in the motion twin. Actually, one frame represent one small one small green dot. And actually, you can drag the motion twin, drag the last frame, the ending frame towards let's say frame 40 and then you increase the time for the motion tweet and now the motion will become smoother because we have more frames more twin the frames between the first frame the beginning frame and the last frame and again you can drag towards let's say frame 60 and now you can actually see there are more green dots along this line and therefore if you press enter the motion become even smoother. And in addition, in the library, you can see that there is a twin one object here. Actually, this represents we have included a motion twin in the timeline. And after we have created a motion twin, we can actually apply all sorts of changes to the ending frame. For example, if we select free transform, for example, if we rotate, it, rotate the text by a little bit, and now we can see that the text will begin its rotation from the first frame, first frame to the last frame. And you, we can also resize this or enlarge it. Now the text become start from small and then end in large. And in addition, you can also change the path since this is only a straight line. If you select the ending frame and then you place the cursor on the line and now you can drag the line you see this there is a curve symbol around the black arrow and now you can drag the curve so that now the motion path is a curve and actually you can create even more complicated effects on this motion path for example let's move to frame 30 and we can add a keyframe there. 
you see that in the keyframe O and now you can simply move this frame anywhere and the motion curve will be adjusted automatically and again you can move frame 60 you can simply drag the frames to anywhere you like okay and now we can press enter to play the movie okay that's it and now we can include more motion twin in fresh in the same timeline we simply rename the layer one as text and then for best effect one layer should contain only one motion twin so for the second motion twin we need a new layer let's say we call it the bird let's say we want to copy a angry bird image from google we simply right click and then select copy and now we switch back to fresh and then we can simply select edit and place in center and make sure we have we are now in the bird layer in the second layer and not in the original text layer and now we have this angry bird symbol oh sorry angry bird image in the bird layer and uh, as in previous lessons we have to trace bitmap uh, convert this bitmap graphics to vector graphics modify bitmap and then trace bitmap trace bitmap sorry okay let's set this to 4 pixel and now we can remove these unnecessary backgrounds fill from the image and finally we can convert this to a symbol but uh, if we select this angry bird image it seems we it seems we inevitably select this twin animation text in the text layer so we can first lock the lower layer lock the text layer so that we will not select it uh, and now we can select the bird and then we can right click and convert it to a symbol let's enter the name bird for this movie clip yeah. note that this symbol is a movie clip not a button not a graphic it's a movie clip click ok and now we can apply motion twin to this angry bird symbol let's move back to frame number one again and now we can select this bird huh? we can also resize this we can select free transform and then resize this angry bird and then to apply motion twin simply right click and then select create motion twin again and now you can see that all these blue frames represent a motion twin has been applied in this layer and now we can move the bird let's move it sideways and now we can press enter that's right and uh, well it seems that this time we have to manually add a keyframe at the end frame any frame frame 60 we right click and then insert keyframe and now we can move or drag the bird towards the right hand side and now we can see both twin animation is working okay and uh, finally we can fine tune the motion of this angry bird because uh, if you select the properties menu and if you don't find this property menus remember you can always check out the window menu and then you can locate this properties panel and uh, you can see that there is oh, sorry you can select the last frame eh? frame 60 and then in the properties panel you can see there's an option called the ease and now you can drag the ease value let's say from 0 to 100 and if you play the movie again we can see the angry bird decelerate at the end of the motion yeah. it moves from fast to slow until we reach the end 
and actually you can see these dots, these orange dots, becomes much denser towards the end of the motion. And if we drag the ease value to a negative value, let's say negative 100, these dots becomes much more dense, denser at the beginning. And so it will accelerate, sorry, accelerate from the beginning. It moves from slow to fast. And now to save your fresh document, you have to select file and then save as. And uh, this will be a, a FLA file. And this you can later edit this document again when you have time. And to upload your homework or assignment or classwork to Edmodo, you have to always select File, Export, Export Movie. And this will be in a short wave file format, SWF file. And then you have to upload this file to Edmodo.